stay absolutely still. Elephants are highly intelligent and curious creatures. She just wants to see whether we're friend or foe. Well, I think we passed that test. Welcome to South Africa. I've been studying this herd for years. When the previous matriarch was killed, this beautiful girl stepped up to take her place. She's been a strong leader ever since. As you can see, her little daughter is learning to be just like her. This herd and all African elephants are listed as vulnerable, mainly because of poaching and habitat loss. But with the ever-growing human population, there's also been an increase in conflict between people and elephants. Damaged crops and property often result in retaliatory killings. Check out this picture of my adopted baby elephant. Her mother was killed in that exact situation. It's sad because in many ways, elephants are so much like us, just trying to raise their families. They're extremely social animals that live in tight-knit family groups led by a wise older female known as a matriarch. They even grieve their dead. The relationships you see here between mothers, daughters, sisters, and aunts last a lifetime, up to 70 years. The young males in this herd will strike out on their own around age 10. Sometimes they'll hang out with other bachelors, but mostly they'll live solitary lives. Water is life for elephants. They must drink every day. They're also excellent swimmers and they truly enjoy being in water. See how they use their trunks like a snorkel when traversing the deep section? Some people think they drink water through their trunks, but they actually use them to suck up water and then spray it into their mouths. This is a favorite spa location for this herd. Since elephants have no sweat glands, daily mud baths help keep them cool and protect their sensitive skin from sunburn and biting insects. That young calf is always the last to leave. I have to tell you, these gentle giants are facing some very serious threats. Nearly 30,000 elephants are illegally poached every year for their tusks to be carved into trinkets and jewelry. That means more elephants are killed than born each year. At that rate, we could lose over half of Africa's estimated 400,000 elephants in the next decade. Ivory tusks are actually massive teeth with deep roots, which means you can't just cut them off as a preventative measure. Not only would it be painful, but elephants need their tusks for foraging and defending themselves. Some ivory consumers mistakenly believe that elephants shed their tusks like a deer sheds its antlers. But the truth is, the only way to get elephant ivory is from a dead elephant. But even though we humans are their biggest threat, we're also their greatest ally. Never underestimate the power of passionate people like yourself. If we work together, we can come up with strategies that allow humans and elephants to coexist. You are a great research assistant. Let's review some of our field notes before we head out on our next expedition.